Welcome back to the channel. It's Johnny here from MTB Trail Rider, and today we are spending the day at Ray's Indoor Bike Park in Cleveland, Ohio. I recently moved to Michigan, and Travis from Bikes and Breweries channel uh, had his birthday on Thanksgiving this last year, so we decided to meet up uh, here to celebrate and give us another chance to kind of spend get some riding in together. This was my first time here, and I'm excited to show you uh, the foam pit area, as that was my favorite. It was busy and hard to spend a lot of time in this section, but it was great to actually try some tricks. I'm too scared to do on the dirt, uh, but before we get that far and kind of show you that area, uh, let me take you around the rest of the facility. So far, you've been watching me on the green loop. Uh, everything in the park has like painted uh, trails on the floor or different arrows kind of telling you where to go, so it's very easy to kind of navigate around. The green loop is also the longest trail in the building. It covers the entire facility, which also gives you good insight to what this place has to offer. There are smaller sections throughout the building for various skills work. Uh, they have a skills park full of various skinnies located in the center of the building. They've also got smaller jump lines, bigger flow trails, and then large pro lines. They also have smaller uh, beginner areas uh, branching off from the green loop as well. Uh, so you can always kind of uh, branch off into those and spend uh, time in there. The pump track was also a lot of fun. I spent a lot of time in there just kind of working on my skill of being able to pump and just using my body uh, with the dirt jumper. Uh. <laughs> Polygon Trid has been a great addition to the bike fleet. It's light and performs great for the price. I'm actually an ambassador for Bikes Online. If you're interested in the Trid or any of the other bikes, reach out in the comments or use the link in the description to check out the specs. So this area here is what I enjoyed the most because the foam pit gave me the comfort I needed to practice new tricks. I mostly worked on tuck no handers and surprisingly I was able to move much faster than I thought, getting the full extension in the arms and still getting back to the handlebars. Uh, it's difficult to land in the foam pit and my shins definitely got banged up pretty bad, uh, but it was confidence inspiring uh, to think I might, have actually, uh, might actually be able to do this on the dirt now. Will I try it on the dirt? Probably not, uh, but we'll see you this summer. Uh, the foam pit also has a cool feature that has a live video feed that is on a delay so that when you attempt your trick, you can actually look back on the monitor uh, right there on the landing in the foam pit so you can see how you did, giving you instant feedback on what you were doing. I was also trying to practice some bar spins as well. 
Uh, in that aspect, uh, using the feedback from that live video, I was able to see that as I was spinning the bars, I was pushing the front end down. So I was just doing a lot of like nose dives and couldn't get back to the handlebars in time. Uh, so I got some more work to do there. This day spent at Ray's uh, was also one of the longest days I've ever actually spent on the dirt jumper, uh, which I really needed. I spent a lot of time on my trail bike and getting on the trid was a nice change. I'm excited to get more practice in on the DJ and looking forward to getting the airbag back out this spring to continue working on these skills. Yeah. Last run. If you saw my video of the riveter, uh, you definitely know that uh, I need some more work on the dirt jumper. So uh, that, that video was a little bit embarrassing, but it was nice to kind of get out there uh, to be able to improve my skills out here at Ray's. Anyways, guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. Leave a comment and say hi, or stick around and check out some more videos I have here on the channel. The first section was good. The second half is always like slow for me. I, I shot over one of them and I almost didn't make any of them, but uh, I think I'm done. Yeah. You want to keep riding? Uh, I'm exhausted.